cut the footage, cut the footage. Hello, Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jay. Y'all, we are back for another lock update. Can y'all believe it's been two years? Like, it has been a whole two years. Actually, it's been two years and a month. Yeah. I've been meaning to film this video for a whole month. But life kept life and girl, and here we are, okay? But y'all, I have stuck to something for two years, and I'm proud. First of all, hold on because how I start a whole video without a mic? <sighs> cut the footage, cut the footage. Okay y'all, welcome back. I hope that you can hear me in the intro. If not, we gonna run it back <laughs> one more time. So welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jay. We are here for a two year lock update. Two years has absolutely flown by like I'm not even sure where the time went, okay? With my other set of locks, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best in this video not to compare this set of locks to my traditional set of locks because I've already done that. I did that in the one year update and um, I'll be sure to link that video down below if you wanna see. However, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to not compare the two. But y'all, y'all already know at 11 months, I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, cut it. Cut it, we're not gonna be able to do this no more. This is entirely too much. However, like y'all, this set of locks, time is flying, time is flying. It's just very much given I could do everything that I did with my natural hair, and I like that, except for the puff thing. The puff phase, girl, gone, okay? After your locks pretty much lock up and get that little drop on them, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We were waiting on her, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, after they get that little drop on them, yeah, you're not going to be able to do that little ponytail puff situation. It ain't cute no more. It don't look good. It, it just, uh-uh. No, cut it. Mm -mm. Yeah, y'all, I have really, really, really been enjoying my micro lots. Like, the thing is, it's been a whole year and there's not a lot to update you guys on. But we're going to see what I could come up with and let's go. My intentions were to do an 18-month lock update as well. I feel like the biggest changes did happen in between that 12-month and 18-month window. Like, honestly, outside of the changes that were happening, well, I don't know. Because now that I think about it, I do feel like between 18 and 24 months is definitely when I've seen the most changes. And it's probably because um, my hair started to lock at the ends, like for real, for real. Um, I feel like at 18 months, I definitely still had that little puff situation going on. I'm going to try to like um, drop some pictures as I'm talking about things um, in here or whatever. Um, I'm trying to think at 18 months, I'm pretty sure I still had that little puff situation going on. My hair wasn't as full, but it seemed like out of nowhere, it just was like, boom, I'm here. I'm full, I'm long, I'm, I'm flourishing, and I can't be mad at that at all. But I really wish I would have gotten around to filming that video, so that way we could have compared you know what was happening then to what's happening now so yeah like i said the biggest thing to me now is how full it is because like y'all at some point it had seemed kind of flat to my head a little bit when it was first starting to like drop a little bit and trying to like lock further down the shaft or whatever i feel like it wasn't as full but like y'all now it's low-key a little hard to get in the ponytail and i'm like is that you is that you? Because, girl, we never had thick hair over here. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. And, y'all, the length. The length. Of course, the length. My hair has definitely grown, especially from last year to this year. Like, we're retaining length. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. In my natural hair days, I was not. Well, I had started retaining length because I had kind of gotten out like a little routine or whatever. But I really didn't want to touch my hair very often. And it's crazy because now I still don't want to touch my hair. We're going to get into that too. But, yeah, the length is going crazy. I cannot wait to see where I am next year around this same time like. You think you can't tell her nothing now? Wait till next year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I already know she gonna be... She gonna be... Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I gotta get some chill. I got to chill. Another big thing for me has been dryness. Like the dryness is going crazy, but I think that the difference is I kind of stopped using like the leave-in conditioners and all the things and I end up having to go back to it because the dryness was getting crazy. And another thing was I was like holding out my retides a lot. Uh-oh, I'm recording. But yeah, I was holding out my retides a lot longer than what I wanted to. So I wasn't able to like wash them in between because I was scared I was going to lose my parting. I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to like really like kind of like break them apart. So I wasn't washing it as much as I probably should have. Um, over the past maybe two, almost, well over the past maybe like, yeah, two or three months. I'm gonna say two. I'm gonna say two. So over the past two months, I have been washing it more often because I have been retying just a little bit more often. I definitely feel like I need to stick to a four week schedule because my hair is the type of hair that grows outside of the lock. And if you don't know what that means, that just basically means like if your hair is growing outside of the lock, you basically have to go around and kind of like tame it and it will get tangled up really, really fast. Like, girl, that's the kind of hair I have. Yeah, so it definitely grows outside of the lock and I have to keep it under control as much as possible because as soon as it starts growing and it gets out of control, I can't find my parts. It takes me so much longer just to retie. It's insane at this point, insane. And while we're talking about retying, I have still been retying and doing all the maintenance by myself. When I first moved here, I did try to find somebody to do it for me. Everybody was like booked and um, some people were like, I'm not taking any new clients and da, da 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 So yeah, I ended up still doing it myself and uh, yeah, it is what it is. Another thing I went back and forth with between one year and two years is my interlocking rotations. Y'all, I went from a four point to a two point and then I went back to a four point, back to a two point. And now I'm back at a four point. So I basically have kind of figured it out now. It took me a long time and why it was taking so long was because I would let my hair grow crazy and then go back in and try to retire and try to fix it. It just wasn't working out. So now that I have like a consistent schedule, I can tell you what works best for me. So the last time I did a retie, not this time, but the last time I did a retie, it was a two-point rotation. So I did a two-point rotation and I realized that my hair was a lot thinner, which I think I've said this before in a lock update video. I can't really remember which one it was. I'll link the playlist down below if you want to go through it. But I have said this before. I feel like it made my hair a lot thinner. Another thing, it makes like this Y when you retie instead of the perfect squares. I've also said that before too, but it does. It makes this Y and I really don't like that. And another thing is because my hair grows outside of the lock, the two point rotation just does not work for me because it doesn't get all the hair. So you can like retie and it still look frizzy. It still look crazy. It, it, the part's not parting and I don't like it. Mm -mm. Cause if you know me, you know the part's gonna be parting at all times, okay? Cause I like them crispy, I like a straight line, I like the perfect little squares, I like it all to be how I want it to be. So with that being said, we have gone back to the four point rotation. So this last retie, I did do a four point rotation and I really like the four point rotation because it literally gets hair from all sides. And yes, it does make more of like a cylinder kind of lock. And I like that for me because my hair is really fine. Essentially, it's a rope that we're creating. So I need that rope to be as strong and as thick as possible. And the only way I know how to create that is from doing the four point rotation. I've never tried a three or anything like that. However, the four point is just my go-to, it's my jam. I was actually able to retie my hair this time a lot faster than I normally have been. Um, I don't know if I can really say I'm getting so much faster at retying my hair because girl, it still takes a little minute. It still is definitely a two-day thing. I don't know why, maybe because I don't do it like I'm supposed to and on schedule. This year, y'all, I'm gonna try to stick to my schedule. I'm gonna try to stick to my four weeks because I just feel like the more I stay on schedule, the easier it is to retie my hair. Like, uh, y'all, the maintenance be killing me. I can't even lie. I cannot lie. I'm just, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. And honestly, I'm such a DIY girly, like, but I feel like I need to step out of that and go let somebody else do it. <sighs> I just, I don't know. I kind of have, I have a little anxiety around my hair too, because 
I don't want you to mess it up. I, I, it's just, I trust me, but I don't trust everybody else. Because if we're being real about it, this whole retiring thing, some people have taken classes and people are certified, da 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 da. But a lot of it is self taught stuff. And I don't, you taught yourself, I taught myself. Like, I trust me over you. I'm sorry. I, but I do, I, I may need to start paying for convenience because at this point, yeah. Also, around 18 months, it was when I finally got to start washing my hair without braiding and banding and all the things. When I tell you that well after a year, my hair was still bunching without being braided and banded before washing. Yeah, uh-huh. It was, it was a lot. Mm -hmm. So, finally, like maybe around 18, 19 months, I was able to wash my hair. I was like, I'm going to just try it. I was able to wash my hair. I had no bunching and it was just chef's kiss. I'm so happy I could just wash it whenever I get ready without having to go through all the crazy. Because I was so sick of it. Sick of it. I also tried braids um, back in December. If you watched any of my vlogmas videos, then you've seen that the whole time I had braids. And I also did a video on like the braids over locks or whatever. So I kept those braids for like a whole month and I didn't expect myself to keep them for that long. But y'all, I had that little goopy stuff at the roots. <sighs> Never again never again i'm okay like i wanted a little length i was ready for like a change something different but oh baby no ma'am nothing else that has to stay in my head that long and honestly when i had those braids i was debating so bad on if i wanted to really cut my hair and start over and just be able to wear box braids and be able to be a normal just <laughs> without having to deal with my locks because I didn't want to take them out and they didn't even look that good. <laughs> I was so tired of seeing that little hair being like right here. I was so over it, over it. I just wanted something long. I wanted, I wanted to look different for once. I wanted a silk press, it was silk press season. Everybody was going crazy, which even if I cut my hair and start over, girl, do you know how long it's going to take me to get a silk press? It was just a lot. I was I was in my head so much. And it was like cold winter months or whatever. And y'all already know how that little seasonal depression get to creeping in. And, and I don't know what it was. I was so ready to get rid of them. But when I finally took them out, y'all, my hair had grown so much in just that month. Or I don't know if it had grown so much or if I just hadn't seen it in a whole month. And it just looked so much longer to me. So when I took them out, I was like, I love my hair again like in love I was like <laughs> no no nothing is touching the locks nothing is touching the locks okay so yeah I fell in love with them all over again after taking out those box braids and honestly I haven't had that feeling ever since because uh I was like December I was going through it I was very much ready to get rid of these because I just I, I was over it, but now I just feel like, girl, every time I turn around, uh, the growth, the growth. And the fact that I honestly really don't have to do much. I mean, it takes me like two days out of a whole four weeks. However, that's all I have to deal with. I don't have to pay nobody to do nothing. I'm just, I don't know. They have really grown on me and I really, really like them now. And I guess the fact that they're growing, every time I think about where I'm going to be later with the growth, like yeah we're gonna keep them we're gonna hold on to them just a little while longer okay i don't know how long but we're gonna hold on to them and the last thing y'all i have had to combine some locks over the past few months which is crazy to me but i felt like my hair was just like a little bit thinner especially like around the edges after taking out those braids which i think they honestly might have been too heavy to be hanging on to my edges because my edges are already like thin and then i have been doing that little two-point rotation situation 
so they it just it, it wasn't given okay so i ended up combining some of them and i'm happy about the decision it's only like a few and they're mostly like right here around my hairline which like i said i'm i'm happy about because some of those locks were thinner anyway because of putting them in a ponytail and like the hair tie being too tight it kind of like watch out for the hair ties okay if the hair tie is too tight and it's putting too much tension on your locks some of them can break they will thin out they will look girl some of my locks honestly they don't look good the one it's just the ones like right along my edges in the front because those are the ones that get the most tension I'm trying to feel like in the back to see if any of those are like thinner but honestly for the longest the locks in the back didn't reach my ponytail anyway so i don't think i really have a problem with any of them in the back just the ones that's up here in the front and honestly now i try to wear my hair down a lot more often i actually like it down more now because it's longer in the front i think when i started y'all my hair was somewhere like up here and it has definitely grown so i really like how long it is now so and i don't mind wearing it down anymore and sometimes when i go to the gym i wear it down but girl i'll be sweating when I say I be sweating so bad and all that hair on my neck. <sighs> so that's like the main time when I do wear my hair up in a ponytail and all the things. And y'all, <sighs> summer is around the corner. I already know I'm going to have to put my hair up. I, I don't know. We're going to have to figure it out. We're going to have to figure out some type of hairstyle that's going to get me through summer. Because, babes, I cannot have that hair on my neck. I, mm, 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 mm. So, yeah, we're going to have to figure it out. So, um, yeah, let me know if you'll be interested in seeing some hairstyles or whatever. But, yeah, y'all, I think that is all I have for this video. I'm a cute little montage or whatever of the hair and the length and how much it's grown and just everything so you guys can see and i'm gonna be up out of here after that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up join the gang okay because the lock content is definitely coming i said that last year but i'm for real this year okay i'm back on my zoom we back on our zoom okay <laughs> but yeah hit that red subscribe button join the gang and i will see you guys in my next one i love you guys so much I made the coffee green